So I wrote this poem um, during lockdown as I went on a lot of walks around my area. Um, right in the middle of lockdown on Christmas Eve 2020, I moved to Dublin 8 and I was near uh, the canal. So I went for a lot of walks down there um, just to keep sane. And one night when I was walking, I saw a girl just sitting on her own um, right down by the water, which is something that none of us particularly feel like it's a safe or good idea um, at night. It was such a strange thing to just see a girl peacefully sitting in the dark alone um, somewhere that to me is a red alert for danger. And I really liked that she was just enjoying herself and taking her time. Um, so I wrote this poem in response to just seeing her there and it's called Downwind of Sally's Bridge. I've never sat on the banks of the canal, alone, in the dark, back to the path, oblivious to the dangers or people who might take a notion to push me in. But there, wedged between the water, the bushes, the mud and the bricks is a girl, perched by the water in quiet contemplation. I wonder if she breathed easy, in the deep mulchy grass, while I wandered by, nerves fizzing with anxiety on her behalf. So I wrote this poem uh, maybe a year ago, but uh, right now it's a very raw time in Ireland. It's only a few days after Ashling Murphy was murdered, just going for a jog, going for a run down the canal. So I felt this was a good time to share this poem and for how I've presented it for the archive, because I tend to type my poems, I don't tend to write them out, but to provide a handwritten piece, I actually found um, a part of the Sunday Independent from a few days ago. Um, they have a little section that's uh, just a plain blank piece of paper. So I thought I would write the poem in a piece of newspaper, <laughs> uh, referencing just the idea that these occurrences end up as news articles for all the wrong reasons. <laughs>